Hey Fly Tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another Fly Tying tutorial. Today we're going to tackle a pattern called the Editor. This is a variation. This is my steelhead variation for this English salmon pattern. The originator was the editor of Trout and Salmon magazine over in the UK. His name, Sandy Leventon. And originally this fly was tied with a bucktail wing and a pearl body. I'm using silver here, but uh, the pearl body, if you're going to go that route, you'll want to use a white thread under underneath the pearl, just so that uh, you don't darken it. If you use the black thread, that'll change the final color of it. So white thread with uh, pearl mylar strung over top or wound over top. It's a uh, pretty simple fly, and it's caught fish for me in uh, the Great Lakes Tribs. So let's have a look at the material list and get started. jump into it. Let's put a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using one of the Superfly Salmon and Steelhead hooks. This is a number six we're using here today. And for the thread I'm going to use a Uni 6 aught and as long as you have a 6 aught or an 8 aught thread you should be fine. If you're going any smaller than a 6 I'd recommend going into an 8 aught. So first we're going to tie on a piece of mylar tinsel. This is a number 10 uni gold silver. So I put this with the gold side facing up. And I like to tie this on top of the shank. I'll just add a couple wraps just to secure it. Next we're going to take a couple pieces of ultra wire. I've got a piece of chartreuse and a piece of black. Now these are brassy sized. Um, you can go a little bit smaller if you like. Brassy can be a little bit big for a rib like this. But the chartreuse and the black, they give a nice contrast to the fly. So I put those in along the side and we're just going to try and keep pretty close wraps as we go back, touching turns if you can. And I like to keep the wire on my side of the hook and the mylar on top of the hook if I can. And then we'll wind back up to the eye. Again, we're gonna try and keep these wraps as close as we can. If you have a flat thread, it makes this part really easily easy, but uh, the uni, it's not uh, the flattest of threads, so you get a little bit of bump in there, but it's gonna be a fishing fly. We're not gonna put this on a wall or anything, so it should be fine. You just want to keep the wraps pretty uh, tight just so that there's not a lot of bumping in the body once we wrap this tinsel. So we just pull this over so that the silver side is facing up. I put a couple half hitches on the thread and then I just put the thread in a bobbin rest and then we'll just slowly turn this. We want to just try and get a uniform body. You overlap the tinsel about half or so, and then that gives a nice uniform body up to the return of the eye there. And I just use my finger just to hold that in place. And then we'll just wrap the thread around a couple times just to secure that mylar in place. You want to make sure you go behind that tinsel. And then we'll carefully just cut that out. Next we're going to grab the two pieces of the ultra wire together. And we're just going to wrap those forward. You just want to make sure that they stay in place. Just give them a little tension on each wrap. 
I just want to keep them close together there. See, that gives a nice contrast between the black and the chartreuse. And we're just going to give us a bit of a kink and helicopter them off. Next, we're going to grab a bit of blue hen hackle. We'll just flip our hook upside down. You can do this in a couple different ways. The simplest way is just to grab some fibers and tie them in on the bottom. Uh, you could also tie these in as a collar and then pull it down. We'll explore that in a different video, that technique. We'll just tie this in. And then we're going to clip off the butt ends there. Just want to make sure that's kind of forward or centered on the hook. And just make sure you clip those butts away. Just tidy that up a bit and get the head sort of uh, outlined there. All right, now we're going to take a piece of fox. We don't want too, too much. This was originally tied with bucktail, but uh, my preference is actually fox. Get a little bit more movement. And when you're tying it in, it's uh, got a little bit more um, compression. So you can tie it down a little bit tighter. You don't have to worry about it pulling out. We just tie that in a little bit longer than the hook and clip the butts off. Next, we're going to grab a couple pieces of jungle cock just for the eyes on the fly. And we'll line these up back to back so that the enamel is facing out on both of those. We'll just give it a measure to see where we want it and pull off a few of the fibers. Just makes it easier to tie this in. I usually do the one close to me first. Give it a couple wraps or a wrap and a half. Just to kind of set it. Then we'll flip over and uh, do the other side. We'll do the same thing, just add a couple wraps. Then I like to pull those stems back just to make sure to lock that in place. Clean up the head as we go along here as well. You can just pluck the stems as long as you got it tied in tight. And we'll give it a whip finish. And there you go, that's my steelhead version of uh, the editor. Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and checking out the tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? It's almost as satisfying as catching a fish, except you don't need to put on any waders or travel anywhere. I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.